Hi there, I'm Psychic Rick Finbo, and I'm here with my very own Eye of the Soul Tarot cards, and I am going to give you a reading for the month of March by Zodiac Symbol. First, the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So let's see what you have in store for you in the month of March. I'm going to draw four cards just to see what's going on right now and as we go into the month. So it actually says that there's integrity here. There's virtue and integrity. And that you need to act like the queen of wands, which means that you need to be someone who knows who they are, knows what they want, and goes after it and gets it. Doesn't take no for an answer. So in the month of March, at the beginning, you're going to be feeling like you need to do that, and you should, because that's going to make you get off the couch. The Ten of Cups here is satiety, which means you need to get off the couch. You just need to do what you need to do. So, And then you have the Knight of Discs here, which is you can become your own guru, like knowing that what you want to do, and you're on the right path. You will know that you're on the right path in March. So for you, fire signs, you have spiritual dominion coming in by the end of the month. You will know the path you're on is the right one, which is amazing. So now let's look at our next symbol, which is water signs. Let's see what you have in store for the month of March. You are going to be completing a cycle. There's completion here. Completion of a cycle here um, in the beginning of the month. And you need that completion because then it won't feel so overwhelming. you got the debauchery card here, which means it's emotionally overwhelming. You will be moving out of that. And then you have the prudence or patience card. So just be patient, especially in the physical world with physical things like money and work all the things that are in the physical world you want to just be patient with. And then you have the Prince of Wands coming up. Whether you're male or female, again, it doesn't matter. The Prince of Wands is someone who is fighting for clarity around what is the next step to take on a soul level. And let's just see what that step is. It brings you in power. So you have power and control here in the physical world. You have more things coming up for you water signs about the physical world. So your work and money, finances. And it says be patient this month. And also you will find that you are in control by the end of the month. So that's a good reading for my water signs. And now we have the earth signs. And earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So let's see what you have in store for this month of March. The first card that you get is the Princess of Discs. So whether you're male or female, again, it doesn't matter. But it does mean that you are going to be focusing on things in the physical world, discs are physical world, and whether you should move forward with something or owning it. So this is like bringing a physical idea into the physical world. So you could be pregnant with an idea of what you want to bring into the physical world, like your own business, or should I move forward in the physical world with a move? Like, so there's move and change here that you're going to be doing yourself. And it also says that you have swiftness of communication here, which the communication should be good for you in March. And you need to use that swiftness of communication in order to get your point across. There's virtue and integrity here for you in March. Um, and then you've got the card of pleasure. So that means the card of pleasure is emotional pleasure. And it means that you need to have more fun. So you may be focusing on what you want to bring into the world right now, but you need to make sure that you have integrity and have more fun. And then the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see what March has in store for you. The first card you get is debauchery. And that means that you're feeling overwhelmed. 
Now, it's good that you got it in the first place because it means that in March, when you start the month, you may be feeling a little bit of overwhelm emotionally. But you have the card of Knight of Discs and mental self-defeat here. It's all mental. It's not actual. So the things that you're overwhelmed by are things like mental self-defeat. And mental self-defeat is not a real construct. It's actually just your mind. So your mind is going towards the negative. And it says if you listen to the Knight of Cups, if you act like the Knight of Cups being open and honest, you can move forward from that. And what you will see is this last card is success. Okay, and this is success in the physical world. So around work, relationships, anything that's in the physical world, a lot of success. And there's also a spiritual victory here. A spiritual victory means you can't see it when you're in it. But when you look back on it after it's all over and through with, you will know that it worked out the best way possible. You couldn't have even planned it that way. So the month of March for all of the signs is very good. It looks like there's a lot of change. And for us globally, it says we can turn whatever we want into gold in March. This is the card of alchemy. It's called art and alchemy, turning whatever we focus on into gold. So make sure that you're focusing on what you want. Please check out my website, psychicrick.com. You can order my new deck, the Eye of the Soul Tarot. It's only $29.99, comes with a beautiful velvet pouch, and you can also receive the meanings of the cards for free on my website on the free page. It's a download, a PDF download that you will love and you will get the meanings of the cards. If you want to delve more into the cards, I am offering a virtual class for people that aren't in the Colorado area. And I'll also be offering an in-person class in June at the Full Moon Bookstore. So we have two classes, one online in April and one in person in June. I would love to see you at those. Thank you and have a great month of March.